fish lovers, what's up? How are you? How is everything? Guys, I have got this parcel today and we are gonna see that what is inside and I will give you the review of this product and I will show you that how to use this. So guys, today's video is about this product review and unboxing. So stay tuned with me and we are gonna start the video. So guys after unwrapping we have got this and I show you what is this this is aquarium battery cleaner and it is of Jenica company and this is Chinese brand and this is the gravel cleaner and we are gonna open it up and we will see that what we have inside guys as you can see it the box has got damaged during transportation so we hope that the things are inside safe so here we go we have this and here we have got another packet and here are the other stuff and we have got the warranty card also you will see it later first of all I am gonna unpack this this is the tube and it is like this this is the main assembly and it has got the motor and the battery we will see it later this is the power switch and here is the rest of the assembly and we see what we have inside this these are some extension nozzles and the other parts so we will follow the manual and we are going to assemble it so till then stay tuned so now here we have got all the stuff and now we are gonna assemble it up and I show you here we have got the instruction manual and it is written in Chinese and here is the English so first of all we check the technical parameters guys we need two batteries double A size and this is the voltage 3.3 volts DC and it is the length of the total size 58 to 95 centimeters scalable means you can adjust it and Q max Q basically is the water flow rate and 520 liters per hour you can clean 520 liters in one hour and this is the lowest and the maximum level of the water 30 and 72 centimeters so now here we have got the diagram and now we are gonna assemble it but before assembling we see the nomenclature this is the battery switch for on off purpose and here is the DC power if you want to run directly on the DC adopter and if you don't want to use the batteries so you may insert here I sh show you this is the place where you can attach the adopter and this is the on off switch basically DC power switch this one red color and the drain holes these are the drain holes and here you can see maximum and minimum water level and this is the fish net for collecting the waste and these are the gravel head and other things so now we are gonna assemble it uh, guys we can use it for two purpose for the cleaning the gravel and for changing the water but first we are gonna use it for cleaning the gravel so now we are going to assemble the things here we have got the gravel head and here we are going to attach the longer pipe like this and here one is the other one and this is with the adjustable 
nut and here we are going to insert and you have to tight it and now you can adjust the height and in this way and if you want to fix it then you have to tightly close it and now it is almost fixed and little tightly so here we are gonna attach the net for filtering to avoid the fishes to get inside so here we are going to fix it as you can see here now we have fixed it and here we have got the propeller assembly and motor assembly so now we are gonna open it up and you can see there is a space for batteries and we are gonna insert the batteries and this is the placement of the batteries you have to keep in the mind that positive terminal should be on the lower side as you can see so we are gonna insert the batteries and this is the battery cover and we are gonna fix it and we try it here we have switched on from the red button and this is the on off button and I switch on you can see the propeller is working and now I am gonna switch off with the help of this button so it is ready and now we have to assemble the rest of the assembly so now we are gonna fix this part here you can see a cut and here is also the cut for fixing it so we are gonna insert like this and after that we are going to twist little bit like this so that we can avoid the leakage and here we go okay guys now we are gonna attach the pipe here and you have to notice that this one is the larger dia pipe which one is sliding so we are gonna fix this pipe here like this and it is now fixed and you can see it is adjustable also and now we have to attach the net this is the waste collecting net and here we have got another piece and we are gonna attach the net here like this and here we go we have attached the net and the waste will be collecting in this net and the water will get filtered out and this is the hole for this and we are gonna attach here and guys this is ready for cleaning the gravel and you can see the assembly and this is adjustable we can move it so now we are gonna test it in our aquarium so guys we are gonna test this in this aquarium and we are going to check whether it cleans the gravel or not so here we go we are gonna insert it as you can see guys one thing you have to consider that do not exceed from the maximum le level of the water otherwise its propeller will not work so now we are gonna switch on from here and here I have started it and you can see the water is coming out from here and now we check that whether it is cleaning or not and you can see it is cleaning the gravel and sucking the small particles and you can see the small particles are going here 
and here you can see the waste particles are collecting in this bag and the water is going back into the tank so it is working quite fine but i think it is a little bit under power as you can see the suction rate is a little bit less according to my opinion but anyhow it is working fine the water is filtering out so now guys if you want to use for changing the water then what we have to do we just have to detach this waste collection bag and here we have got a small piece of plastic and we have to attach it here and here we have got the flexible pipe and we will attach this pipe and now here is the assembly for changing the water let's see how it works so guys now it is working for changing the water and here you can see we have just switched on the pump and it is taking water and the water is coming out from here so it has got the good flow rate and guys one more thing i would like to share guys this is for cleaning the glass and uh, if you want to clean the glass so here you can see the rubber for cleaning purpose we just have to attach the pipe here and here we go we can clean the glass with the help of this and guys one more thing i would like to tell you if you have got a nano tank then how you will use is you just have to use this small pipe and attach here and attach here and you have to loose it like this and then tight and here we go and guys this assembly is for the nano tanks and if you have got the low height tank then you may use this type of assembly so guys this was the review but in my honest opinion guys i think it has got a little low power it must have higher power for cleaning the gravel i personally feel but overall it is good you can use it for the smaller tanks but i would not recommend for larger tanks more than 80 gallons so guys this was review if you have any question and you want to ask anything you may comment in the comment section thank you so much guys okay bye bye